everybody. Thank you very much for tuning into your reading with me, Lorian. Um, just a quick message to say thank you so, so much for everybody who subscribed, liked, shared these videos. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and thank you as well for just kind of connecting with me and supporting me. Um, these are general readings. These are for your sun, moon and your rising sign. So if you are looking for a private personal reading, just click the link below. There's loads of readings available for you. Um, so just take a look and see which kind of reading, I suppose, you would like to get from myself. Um, here's hoping November's a good one, simply because it's my birthday this month. So, fingers crossed. Um, and if it is your birthday as well, if you're a Scorpio or a Sagittarian, there are special birthday offers as well for you. So, here's hoping. Let's have a look. Hello Capricorn, my lovely, lovely Capricorns. Thank you so much for tuning into your monthly reading with me, Lorian. Um, I don't know whether I mentioned in the intro, but this is Tara Mucha, and this is the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of comes through for you over the course of the next few months or few weeks even. Um, I did do a meditation beforehand. I'll have a look and see what goes on for you first though. Okay, and I apologise in advance. It's one day before Bonfire Night or Guy Fawkes um, Night in England. Um, and I know New Zealand celebrates it too. Um, but everybody for the last week or so has decided to get out the fireworks early. So if you hear big booms and screams and things like that, I do apologise. Um, it's beyond my control, but it does not break my concentration. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, the meditation that I did earlier was very... In fact, I think it was a little bit similar to Taurus. Um, but they have been preparing me for the Earth readings today because even before I decided to do you guys, I was very, you know, got my green nail polish on. Um, I was want, drawn to green things today. I was, you know, in town and I was like, oh, lots of green things. I think there's a little bit of comfort going on as a comfort zone experiencing here at the moment um i do feel that there's quite a significant amount of um maybe soul searching going on between you spiraling inwards and breaking through some kind of self-made barrier perhaps um and i also feel it's being brave this month i don't know where people get the misconception that capricorns are cold you are not cold you are very deep thinkers and actually i do feel that you are one of the most misunderstood um uh, signs really of the zodiac i've known capricorns to be giddy as anything silly as anything really beautiful um souls of kindness and everything um and i do feel that you do get a raw deal they're saying that's okay so i'm just i'm just gonna see what comes up oh well okay Interesting. You got a lot of mages so far. Oh, that's always a nice appearance. Um, and I do feel as though, you know, a lot of the time as well, when it comes to romance, Capricorns can be very, or seem like they're just, oh no, I like somebody. Let's go inwards. And you, I think you deliberate and you assess whether it's worth your time, um, which is very good because you don't want to waste any time, but you could also be wasting time by deliberating if you know what I mean um so let's see what kind of information comes through for you this month <sighs> how do you feel about it almost being some of your birthdays next month December Capricorns are you okay with that <laughs> and this reading is for sun moon and rising Capricorn like I say so do check the other ones if you have okay they're saying another one if you have any other signs okay whoa hello ah let me take a look and see what comes in here okay the first and very clear message that came through was you are okay you are okay do not fear the changes that are coming even if you may not know what they entail yet because your life is going to change next year they seem to be for majority I would say high majority of Capricorns your life is going to change next year this is all in preparation for what you're going to go through this uh, yeah, this is all preparation for what you're going to go through 
and I don't mean that it's going to be terrible, and it's, you know, it's just, this is preparation, whatever you're going through at the moment is going to prepare you so you are better understanding of why you had to deal with this stuff, um, so you can then think, oh right, and then meet the opportunities next year, head on, be prepared for them, and take advantage of them, and also be kind of forewarned of these big changes as well, so you're going to see echoes this year. Um, for instance, or this month, um, for instance, when I, before I made the big decision to jump ship and move to New Zealand, um, I was tested, I was given the opportunity to do some of my dream job, and it would mean leaving the security of my day-to-day -day job to do that. I said, yeah, sure, sure, of course, I'll do it, I'll jump. And it didn't work out, and thankfully I hadn't left the job at that time, but then the next one came for me to do that. So this is all in preparation. This is kind of forewarning you and testing you to see whether you will do what you need to do when the later opportunity comes in and invites you to live and let go. And I feel that's very important. Now at the beginning we have the devil and I feel this is more the devil on your shoulder, the devil telling you that you don't necessarily need to do this or you're not good enough for this or maybe you should try something else because you know or you don't want to go over there, you don't want to try that. I think everybody has one of these but it may be more pronounced for you Capricorn this month. Um, a lot of you may suddenly start seeing, I shouldn't be eating this cake or I shouldn't be eating this or I'm sad so I'm going to be eating everything. Just one example. There's a, a kind of balance here that I feel that you will be drawn into temptation. It could also be a highly sexual relationship. I'm not going to pull any punches here. You could actually be involved in somebody who sets your loins alight and you can't seem to quit this person even though you know they are not good enough for you and you know that they are not the one for you, even, you know, they may be amazing in bed, but I don't know whether you feel as though they give you everything that you need, and it could be incredibly important for you to now step outside of that and let them go, because you may have to let something even bigger go next year. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have to say goodbye to a loved one, it just means that something is going to change. But inner healing comes through here, by going through these motions and by you know, exploring these inner feelings to yourself, you know, you may actually feel like you're making progress of an inner spiritual, emotional nature. Because this, to me, represents, and this is temperance, by the way, this, to me, represents a great deal of balance in a thought, choosing the right path, also letting your soul and your conscious be your guide at all times, taking the time out for solitude, balancing things, treating yourself right, eating, healing when you can and when you have to. For instance, if when you're with this other person or when you're in this situation with the devil on your shoulder, whatever it is, you could feel very hard to breathe or you could feel like it's hard to think about anything else. You need to remove yourself from that situation to see the truth. And I also feel as though this little guy here, <laughs> little guy, um, is the Hierophant he seems to be directing you to a certain course here. It could be literal, like education, or it could be you know what to do. You know you have to take a chance. You know you have to leave your full-time job to do this part-time one. You know you're good at it. You know you have to do it. Or it could be, you know, you have to do this um, self-employment thing. You have to put everything into it. You know you have to leave this person. You know you have to take a chance on this person and enter a relationship. It could be anything, but I feel you are going to be guided either by your guides or your, I don't know, friends, somebody, friends, somebody who can really encourage you to take the right path for you. They will know you. They will see you as you are. They know what's best for you. And they, I think, can maybe actually remove themselves a lot easier and kind of take a different look at certain things and be more um, conscious of what it is that you really need to achieve for you. Um, because friends often are the mirrors that you know we can't see. They actually reflect things back at us. And I think once you make your decision, you are going to be like the eight of one, though this is opportunity is going to come in and take you by surprise. I do feel that there's quite a significant amount of change in this card. You may be startled by your own actions, by how well you impress yourself. That'd be good, wouldn't it?
like, wow, I'm so impressed with how I just handled that information or this situation. I feel better. Ooh, and look, all this new energy coming in. Wow, I don't know where, where this has come from. Um, this is incredible, you know. And I think also it's about nurturing the new beginnings. You know, it could be things where it could be people showing up where you didn't actually think that they would show up. It could be the fact that you get all the answers to your questions at once and you suddenly you're moving house and you're doing this and you're doing that and you're doing this and oh this person wants to come and see me for a day and blah, blah. it life goes in cycles and I do feel that you could be in demand towards the end of the month into December for social gatherings and things so I feel if you cleanse yourself from various stuff that's going on in your life you'll be better prepared for that but also the bigger things next year let go of the baggage it's a universal year nine so we have clairvoyance. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. If what you're experiencing is not heavenly love, don't go down that road. If what you're experiencing is devil on your shoulder telling you you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not that, don't listen to that. You, you need to listen to the universe, your guides, your angels who love you, your friends who love you, and anything that seems to come through that sounds or rings spiritually true. If it feels good here in your heart chakra, you need to listen to that. Um, logic and reason will only get you so far. It's not what makes the world go round. It's what makes the world a little bit more of an orderly place and more maybe comfortable to live in. But lo love is what makes the world go around logic, not necessarily. It's good for strategy, not for much any, you know, not for much else. Um, but the counsellor here as well. You are an actual counsellor. Many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. You could be taking on a lot of other people's problems, and unnecessarily so. Or you could be seeing yourself through the eyes of, or your situation, sorry, through the eyes of people who are experiencing similar things and thinking, oh, I should be like this, or I should be like that. Don't judge yourself based on other people and how they're doing it. You are your best counsellor. If you were doing this advice to somebody else, you know, for your own situation, what would you advise your best friend if they were experiencing the same stuff? What would you ex advise your sister, your brother, if they were experiencing the same stuff you are? And then give that advice to yourself. Listen to yourself. Don't put yourself a second best, please, Capricorn. You are dear souls. You are dear hearts. And I feel that you deserve a lot more than maybe you are allowing yourself to experience. So do let me know if things work out for you in November. Let me know what's going on for you. Um, if you want a private reading, there is a link below. It gives you the list of all the readings I offer. And also... If you want to join me on Patreon, I do free weekly content if it works, because it hasn't for the last two weeks, um, but I'm hoping to sort that out this week. Um, and thank you to those who have supported me so far. Um, but in the meantime, take care of yourself. Much love and blessings to you all, and I look forward to reading for you in December.